is Michelle from Serendipity House. And I've got my, I've got my uh, dresser here laying on its back because I just think it's easier for me uh, to go with gravity instead of having things slip. So I'm gonna start by ironing on the decoupage in the middle and then maybe we'll stand it up. So I'll talk to you about how, what I've done to prep and grab my paper. So what this has on it is two coats of primer of um, White Salvation Solution Primer by DIY. And it also has two coats of liquid patina. And that is, uh, you could use any decoupage medium that you have. With the iron-on method, you put on a couple of generous coats of your uh, decoupage medium. And when we iron, it is going to like re-release re that so that uh, or reactivate it so that the paper sticks. All right, so I am going to first get this where I want it. And I'm gonna start in the middle. And the reason I'm starting in the middle is because, as you guys know, when you decoupage, your paper shrinks up a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna go from the middle out. I always pick like a right angle when I'm doing decoupage or a transfer that needs to be lined up. And I'm gonna choose this right angle right here to put my my piece in, so the bottom left. Let's see how hot it is. All right, so it's just warm and I'm gonna do constant movement. Nice clean iron, no steam, no water. And it's reactivating my liquid patina. All right, so you can already see, but can you, well, hopefully you can see this right here. It's very warm, but it's ironed down flat. The creases that were across there are gone. There's a little bit left here. So now I'm gonna continue across the right and the left of the drawer, just kind of always moving my iron. All right, so I'm continuing from the middle out. Just gonna go all the way to the end here. Right along this ridge here where the drawer goes. So how can I do this? Okay, so I am resting my knife. Oh, the noise. I'm resting my knife on this because I just don't want it to go underneath that lip. The drawer is right there. So I am gonna cut right along that top edge. So my drawers are, my drawers are free. All right, so what I'm gonna do is the same thing I did last time. I'm gonna just lean my knife right here. This could need some blending, I don't know, but it's better than ripping. I'm kind of planning where my seam is gonna go because it is not a total flat front. That's why I'm doing this. All right, so I wanna just pay attention and not get distracted and put this back down into my right angle here. So this right here, my drawer is right here, the opening. So I am going to cut right across here. That's my drawer opening. Nice sharp blade. I use mine for so many things that I, if I don't grab a new blade, I have no idea if it's sharp or not. That's cut. 
that's cut. Um, drawer opening here, so I'm gonna cut right across here. Right into that groove that's already there, that's easy. This is cut and then the bottom is fine. All right, well, let's uh, stand this up and see what we've got. All right, so this is what I've got so far. Oh, I think it's really pretty. All right, so it's gonna go right there. See, this is already harder for me not having it on its back. Um, I think you just have to find a way that works for you and go for it because this is definitely, I'm gonna make sure I don't mess it up. I do have to remember though that the right hand side is going to be painted. So all of this is going to be, none of that white is gonna show, it's gonna all be painted. So if I can hold that still and iron that on, this is crazy. This is, kudos to anybody who does it in this direction, standing up, especially in pieces. Cause this is, this feels risky. Uh, there are directions inside, but guys, we've been decoupaging for years, right? So use what you know. These are just awesome designs and papers, and what you know is going to work on these too. On the directions, it says if you're going to use water-based top coat, spray first. Um, and... Um, I don't know why I'm, I always like to try things and mess up and then I never do it again. But basically what I did is I brushed my top coat on and even, I don't know why I didn't think of this, but even if you're using the iron on method, the regular rules of decoupage, the guidelines still apply. So what happened is I got a bunch of wrinkles and bubbles and my paper lifted. So the reason that you spray is so that you don't soak your paper. And so I, I've kind of ended up with a regular decoupage piece and not the flat iron method, which is fine for this piece, uh, but I wasted a lot of time.
I'm Michelle at Serendipity House in New Hampshire. You can find all of the products used in this tutorial at my website, serendipity.house. Please be sure to follow me. Thanks so much. Happy creating.